commas increase. I'm standing at the top of waiting, niggas are climbing the reach. I even got my very own initials inscribed in my sheets. Subtle reminders are key. Jeez. Spoiler alert, the second act is tragic. Everyone that wants the worst for me is asking what happened. I'm getting, I'm getting into my ego days. This nigga's teaching me about ego right now. Bury me and I'll be born again. I walk in godly form amongst the mortal man. I got some real demons across the border fence. And made a note of the mistakes we can't afford. I'm not gonna just cut up to it, you know what I mean? But I think you should just like get that camera just rolling. I'm recording, bro. Just get the camera rolling. But anyways, uh, it's been like with this one, it's really been like a really crazy journey. All the time with my shit is always like crazy all the time. But shit. But it's been pretty awesome. Though. Like, but what's been a lot of things like kind of unfolding like two years or like three years into your career, like. Cause I'm trying to get to be like more professional, you know, but you just realize it's like more people Cause let me tell you this, the first time when I was like I was still like trying to drop because I was still like doing music, but I wasn't like really dropping And I did music I actually dropped like my first project. I think it was like uh, not my first project, but then my first song I mean, It was like last round to go live and the response was so freaking immaculate, it was so big. I didn't expect like to even do like those numbers at the point in time. And even the reviews of how people were just coming up and be like, yo, dude, is that really you? And then they could start seeing like, they start seeing like a bigger picture of you. And it was just like a, a flip of a coin. You know, and getting to this far and doing like sincerely yours and everything. And but what of being obtaining is going is this far, you know, it's not as to that extent as like being that big. Yeah. But when you get when you start making a little bit of his attention that you keep getting and you keep dropping and you keep with your consistency with your music as people start expecting, you know, what you when you're gonna drop or how you're gonna drop or, or how which was kind of fun to to start to plan like that but a lot of that times for me got it a lot of things started a little bit like i would say started changing because yeah. i had an opportunity again to like go back home and when i'm back home it's just like this this is a amount of comfortability that's just there right and we had to do a project and we had to do a project with my producer and we couldn't we couldn't even get around it because I wasn't around the space of where everything started, which was this this exact spot. You know, this was for me, this is where everything kind of like my rap dreams kind of manifested in a high level, you know, where more than I've ever anticipated because it was it was a point in my life. I think it was 20, 2016, 17, 18 between those days it was like the most hardest times for me because it was like i didn't know where i was really going with my life yeah. you know but that's why i jumped back in this space because the comfortability now that's just in my life and what my parents can really bring into me it's it's i kind of like sort of forgot you know so when i came back like this side it was like a snap back to reality you know like a reality check of where i'm really at with this with this life thing Heart. Yeah, the heart is right. Chose my chose. Afro. <laughs> I said Afro. Afro. Like over the years, you put in your heart and nobody cares In order to rise, you need to go climb As soon as you up, you need to go dribble your pride Assuming that karma will never catch up Avoiding a drama that troubles your mind The evil you keep in your heart, it's really too much The pain that hovers inside, the more that you hide it The deeper it cuts, and who did you wrong? Just set it aside, it's doing you harm, it's sticking like ducks Drive my eyes, I know what I'm saying And cool, a piece of advice to walk in the light It's not what the kids are playing these days It's not what you're listening to these days Killing a vibe, cause you never finished up school You never regarded as smart, and yet
ghetto reporter, that's not really true. He wanted some help, but he told him he's dumb. He needed some pushing in teachers who had him as judge. He's all by himself and seeking a praise, but coming across as vague. He wanted a girl to share with her life, but she just ran. He's craving for love that he never got for losing his mom and feeling unlucky with all of these odds. With something to prove, the trauma he weeps, he feel like his life is not really worth for living and sickening and quicker than sand. To all of his friends, is living at large. He takes a good look in the mirror and sees that he's his biggest fan. The question that lingers outside of his world, and does he have fans? I picked up a follow and set up an image, but knowing my limits and all of these gimmicks don't want it no more I needed a minute in front of a crowd I'm back on my ish I'm sliding it back to the five like chosen is back in a hood achieving our dreams and dreaming as far as the sky we had some common goals with all of my guys and since I was little been wishing to jump on a plane and go overseas and in, it has actually elevated you know yeah. what I mean from the point where it was at that time to where it's getting right now but where it is right now it is actually actually escalated to a point where we can we really appreciate the culture you understand? We even had the sci- even the cypher experience was really dope. Even though they kicked me out the show because I can't get the owner of the show. But anyway, that's a conversation <laughs> for another day. He know me. He know me. He know me. And he know. I told him I know his girl. I, I ain't say shit about that. I know nothing about that. He decided to run all the way to DK, but it's fine. Cause he found out, he found out look cute. But it's cool. I get it. Niggas find me rich. <laughs> Niggas would have taken. And then this fucking nigga, he dropped a project, and then he removed that shit. Listen to the story, listen to the story. Yo, why you remo- Yo, I wasn't ready. I didn't think it was good enough. What the fuck am I supposed to listen to? How the fuck am I supposed to smoke my shit? If you take that shit off, nigga. I yeah, had that, that shit off. That was the, 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 the sincerely yours that was not like properly mixed. That was trash, bro. That was trash. That was trash. We had to come back with some better shit. Imagine a, imagine a great artist telling you that shit is crap. <laughs> See, this shit was trash. Man, what is my shit? <laughs> this shit is fried. If that I'm, shit was... I'm still bumping back to my old ways like a lot. You know, I, I listened to it. I hope you understand. That's my shit, Nagi bro. Nagi pisi nyana, kya zama nyana for the bread. Hope my queen shirt, gets bro. something for the butter too. I hope if, she never gets If smashed. I could steal that song, bro, I would not even look back, bro. It's like, fuck our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck that shit. Yo, bro. I'm taking that shit, bro. Uh, bro you see that? That is, that is, that is like... You know, when they're like your first born. You know, that is genuinely like your first born. Yeah. You know, if if if, if you don't drop something that doesn't that doesn't touch you, then it means you didn't do enough for yourself. Yeah. As an artist. As an artist. As far understand. as like going for the people and yeah, yourself, but, but like, at the end of the day it's, it should be about you. Don't yeah. make don't make music that even you can't listen to. <laughs> then what's the point? You can't make some shit. You need to listen to it. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? You need you need to sell it yourself. yourself. You know what I mean? Because if you can't sell it yourself, how do you expect somebody else to do it? I do. Yeah, I says, you can't even count, man. It's too much. Oh, you need to go from Salasana, so. Each man is trying, trying to become a hot man. No, without this, I look like a 10 year old. I feel you, bro. It's the same thing. Otherwise. Ah, uh, nothing much, bro. We'll be chilling. Chilling here for now, then. You're just gonna see how the day unfolds, bro. You know, don't be interested. We don't plan these things. We're interested when we hang out, it just happens. I was listening to so much of the outside noise, then, regardless of listening to myself, you know, it was a point in time of. Dude, you need to do like one, two, three. You need to do like one, two, three, four, five, six. And I wasn't even listening to myself anymore. You know, I wasn't just paying attention to myself anymore. I was just trying to please everybody that's around me of like, you need to sound a particular way. Yeah. Which in that way, I was starting to lose a piece of me along the way. You know, cause now it's just like a, a much more bigger game. A much more bigger game in terms of now just the music itself. It has just become this thing of just, uh, 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 um, it becomes a brand, you know, it becomes a brand because even people start approaching you in certain ways and they want you to market their things in a certain ways and you need to carry yourself in certain ways and I felt that's where a piece of me started falling out. So with this one, it really felt like, how can I find a way to relate to all of these people but still keeping a piece of me?